Hey, Facebook. Hey, YouTube. It's just Gigi and Jesus, and we're cooking. And I'm really excited about today because we are doing a chicken. He's a pretty big chicken, right? So I thought I better get started because I'm going to smoke this chicken. And I've not done that before. So it's exciting, but I love, don't you love smoked chicken? <laughs> It'll be good, you know, for dinner. Then it'll be good tomorrow for lunch. I got two meals, I know, out of this one chicken. So what are we gonna do? Well, I researched it, because I hadn't really done this before. I've, you know, did chicken fingers the other day, but that was like 10 minutes, okay? So um, what I've learned, I need to get my fire going and get it pretty big, but not get it too hot, because then the chicken will cook too fast. So we wanted to cook slow, so we're gonna keep it around, you know, between 250, I think, and 300, that temperature there, and then cook it slow. So, another thing we're gonna do, I brine my chicken. That means when I got it, I put it in salt water, and I rinsed it, and I put it in salt water, and I stuck it out in another refrigerator that I have, and then if you don't have the extra room in the refrigerator, you can salt it on the outside before you cook it. Just take about a teaspoon of salt and just salt it, and it won't be too salty. It'll just make everything more crispy. That's what they said. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, I got the chicken, I washed it, the chicken, dried off the chicken. Now, we're gonna make a rub. The rub's gonna go on the skin, and the rub is gonna go under the skin, and then we're gonna put that old chicken on. <laughs> And we're gonna put them on and for like a long time, okay? It's gonna probably be an hour or so. The only thing I know to do, and I've talked to people who said, if for any reason your fire goes out, move it on into your oven. So that's what we'll do, excuse me. <coughs> I got some of the spices out here. What do I think some of that pepper was going up my nose? It's beautiful today. It's a great day for me to do this. I'm gonna use our um, grill like smoker. It's not a pellet smoker, it's just a regular old smoker, but it does a real good job. Uh, those chicken fingers made me even want it more. So what I did, first before we do the chicken, I'm gonna soak my chips, okay? These are hickory chips. And you're gonna put them in a, in a bowl, and we're gonna put water over them and cover them in water and soak them. So bear with me, I'm gonna do this real quick, okay? I got this water going over these hickory chips and I should have thought about this, I could have moved you around, but it's okay, it's like five minutes to do it. Ta-da, I'm back. So see, I put that water over the hickory chips, and you just let that soak for like a couple hours, well, I mean, an hour, it depends on when you wanna start the chicken. I'm probably gonna to try to start my chicken by around three. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak these now. That's only 45 minutes, but it should be fine. Alrighty, back to the chicken. We are gonna make this best chicken. It's rated highly, it's the best rub ever and we're gonna make it and we're gonna see if it lives up to what they say it does. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the rest of this lemon. I'm gonna use a little baby piece of it for something else, but that's okay. We're gonna cut that lemon in half and we're gonna stick that inside, inside that chicken, okay? That you can use limes or lemons. I have a lemon, don't have a lime. So I'm gonna put that in there. All right, now, Let's get ready and let's do this, guys. We're gonna do two, two teaspoons. Alrighty, this is a teaspoon. Two teaspoons, uh-oh, spilt some. Gotta be careful, one, two. I've got a little extra in there because I didn't name two. Okay, guys, can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, there we go chili powder. Alrighty. Next ingredient, two teaspoons brown sugar. Ruh-roh. 
Yes, I got brown sugar. But don't ask me why I keep it in Mama's pretty bowl, but I do. I thought, you know, these are antique -y and stuff, but I like to use some of them. It makes me think I'm a mama. Okay, so there's one tablespoon. Bridge it like this. One tablespoon. We want two tablespoons of brown sugar. There we go. Alrighty. And we want one teaspoon of garlic powder. So let me get this back out. One teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, let me take the rest of this that's in here. I think it did. There we go. One teaspoon. All righty. And the next one, one teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of pepper. All right. I got a little extra pepper in there. <laughs> one half a teaspoon. Okay, now we're moving to a half a teaspoon. Let me see. Let me see, it's kind of dark over there. Half a teaspoon is this one, is this one. So we did the chili powder, the brown sugar, the garlic powder, the pepper, and this is a half a teaspoon now of paprika. And I have paprika right here. Paprika makes chicken good, don't it? And then we've got onion powder, half teaspoon of onion powder. So we're gonna do that one too. Ta-da! Has quite a few ingredients, but I think it sounds really good. All the ones that are saying a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Put a little spice in it. Uh, let's see, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And cumin's really good for you. It's really good for us. And then a fourth a teaspoon, a fourth teaspoon of mustard powder. I'm so glad I had all these ingredients to make this today. There we go. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix all that up. Mm, smells good. I like to smell it. See how it smells. Okay, and we're gonna rub it on the outside. As you can see, I already put this on a pan. It's gonna go directly into my grill. It's kind of like, oh, this thing is probably not the best thing to wear, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna pat this on the skin. I'm gonna turn him over too. I need to do it on this side. Get him on the back and the front, right? All this nice rub. Rub a dub dub on our chicken. It's beautiful here. We will be going outside and we'll be doing some videos out there. Our yard is so pretty right now. I know you guys have seen it. Uh, we got the fountains going and Bill's flowers. This is just the most beautiful season for perennials. Whoops, sorry. This isn't the best choice to cook in this thing. It's going to slide or roll around. Oh, goodness. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Help me, Lord. I got to finish this chicken. <laughs> okay, and also we're going to take some of it. They said lift that skin up, okay? Lift it up. Rip it a little bit. It's okay off that cavity, off the meat, and let's stick some, yeah, put that rub down in there. Now that's gonna be good now. See, that's gonna go directly down in that meat. Then we're getting it all nice and smoky. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Let's put it on the bottom end and on the top end too. I just like to put this stuff everywhere, right? It's a rub, we're gonna rub it in. Now it said, while you're getting your fire ready and everything, we're just gonna let them sit in the refrigerator. Probably have to take them back outside, I don't have enough room in here. <laughs> we're gonna let them sit and then we're going to smoke them. And I'll be making some more videos and the hickory chips and the rub. Uh, you can barbecue sauce, also I'm gonna use olive oil and kind of just, um, when I do open it, go over it lightly with olive oil so it makes it nice and crispy. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna be eating smoked chicken real soon. Have a great day, and I'll be back in a little while and we'll go smoke them, okay? See you in a little bit.